Howard Hewitt, <laughs> listen, you got any questions for Howard? And Sasha's got a whole bunch of questions for Howard. <laughs> this is my buddy right here. Right. Okay. So before we get into anything, Pretty Howard, uh, we want to talk about your new music, okay? <laughs> What's the okay. name of the song, baby, and, and what inspired you to uh, write and sing the song? You know, um, the name of the song is called You Are the One. No, I didn't I didn't write this. Uh, Leon Silver's. I do, which is a whole nother thing. You know, I got a chance to to work again with Leon Silvers, like our old producer, the guy that produced and wrote like second time around, Make That Move for the Lover in You. Know, I, I mean, uh, Dana Myers wrote, uh, co-wrote for the Lover in You. But, you know, Leon produced it. He produced all the early Shalimar stuff. And, you know, so it was the first time that he and I had a chance to work together again uh, in in years. And he brought this tune to me, and it, and it was like, I said, man, this is like, well, he actually presented like about six or seven tunes, and that one was the one that, that stood out to me. And, and we had an amazing time, a great time, you know, putting it together. So, Howard, I got to ask you this. Uh, with you traveling so much, you're doing Super Bowl and going back home, when are you going to have time to grieve your friend James Ingram? Oh, man. You know, it's, it's, it was, I mean, that, that, that really knocked me off center, you know, day before yesterday. I mean, James had been, you know, James had been, he had been ill for a couple of years or so. I mean, really, really ill for a couple of years. And a lot of people didn't know about that, which was way, which is how they wanted it. Right. And, um, I mean, I met James, I've known James is one of my oldest friends. I mean, and, and dearest friends, I met James when I was like 15. We we're from the same hometown, uh, Akron, Ohio. And, Man, I mean, you know, just, uh, I mean, I'm going to, I was talking to his daughter yesterday because they're putting together all the um, the arrangements and stuff. And I told her, I said, you know, I'm going to miss your dad. I said, but I have missed your dad already for a couple of years. And um, I mean, it, I mean, I, it's, it's James is, James is, is a unique person that, We'll never. I mean, I, I like I said, I did a little thing on my um, Facebook uh, Facebook page, and and um, you know, I said, you know, we we will miss this type of thing with his, you know, conspiracy theories. Every time, I mean, if you and everybody that knows knows James knows what I'm talking about because I mean, this guy, he was the same way when I when I met him when I was 15. This guy was the same way all through his life, the most consistent brother I ever known in my life. And and like, you know, like you 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 answer the phone, he'll call you, you'll say hello and you yeah, hell is low. You know what I'm saying? I feel your pain on James Ingram. We're with you, we're praying for his family and um mm-hmm. and we just wanna say congratulations to your new music and all the things that mm-hmm. you're doing still. And uh, we love you, Howard Hewitt, okay? I love you guys, too. Congratulations on your show, also. I've been hearing good stuff. Yes. You know, Thanks, been hearing Howard. good things about it. So, like, you know, uh, congratulations. Keep it going. I didn't know that this time of day was still, uh, you know, uh, possible. I thought they I thought they outlawed this time of morning, but, but I guess not, you know. but. Well, listen, but, uh, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. We want everybody to follow us on Rick and Sasha. We're going to post up the new song, and we want to make sure you're following Howard Hewitt. We love you, baby. Love you, too. God bless y'all.